I received a preview version of ColorFX Pro 4 the other day, and I have to tell you, they've done a great job with this uh, software. It's a it's a vast improvement from their earlier version. And the funny thing is, I've been waiting for them to update this for quite some time. ColorFX Pro is the very first plugin I ever bought, and I've been using it ever since. And I've just been waiting and waiting for this update, and now it's finally here, and it's well worth the wait. I want to talk to you about some of the changes they've made with it. Uh, first of all, the GUI has changed quite a bit, and it's very similar to all the other GUIs that they have in their SilverFX Pro and their HDR effects. Very similar layout. And a cool thing that we can do now is we can stack filters. So let's start with doing the brilliance and warmth here. And let's just say uh, we'll make a quick adjustment here. And let's say we want to add another filter. So we're going to add another filter. I'm going to head over to the landscape category and let's pick something here maybe pro contrast and we'll add just a little bit of contrast to the image now let's say we just want to save this uh, you know this basic set of recipes so they have this recipe save recipe and this is going to create a preset that we can use each and every time so let's click save recipe and I'm going to label this John's fave and click OK. And look how cool that is. Now I have a preset that I can use on images in the future. Another cool thing they've done is they provide us with a history browser. And this is just very slick for us to take a look at all the adjustments we've made. And we can simply click along here and go back or forward in our history. So that's a nice improvement from what we previously had made available to us. So why don't we take a look at some of the filters that are available. Let's go back to the filter list and let's take a look at all. This will give you an idea of what we have available to us. I just love the bleach bypass filter. Just a great amount of filters here. Uh, they've added some new ones. Um, and as I said, this is just a, a great improvement where they previously had. Very easy to use. Uh, we can collapse you know, hide the adjustment panels by by clicking on this or hitting the tab key. If we want to just look at the single image view, if you want to compare it to the original, you just click on the button. We didn't make many adjustments, but it's very slight. Or the side by side comparison. I usually work in this mode right here and have a tendency to go like this when I'm comparing things. If we want to remove a filter, all we need to do is click on the X right here, and then the adjustments have gone away. So let's go to what used to be, and probably still is one of my favorite filters, and that's the Bleach Bypass. It just has a really interesting look to it. And uh, you can increase the saturation, brightness. Maybe not the best for this particular image, but this is a really fun uh, filter effect to use. So you can get the idea. And then if we don't like what we've done, just simply hit the X to remove the filter. And we're back to the original. So I hope that was useful. Um, this is a great uh a great plugin to use. It's a great beginner plugin too because it has so many options available to you. And like I said, this was the first plugin I ever owned when I started uh, first came back into digital photography and using plugins. So check it out. I believe it's uh, being announced today and um, as far as the release goes and you can download the free demo version.